Fake teleport. <laughs> I told you. Like, dude, this shit is like so good. I'm mad that this is the first time we play flowers. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? What do you mean peak? You got Cypher on site? You've got clone? You've got flash? No! Nah, I was staying flowers a bit longer. The only thing I don't like is the reswing after you kill that first guy flowers. You're disrespecting. This is so hard to teach because you just have to get higher MMR and realize it. You just don't know what it's like to play against players who are actually cracked. You can't jiggle there. Problem is you've jiggled there the past thousand hours you've played and never been truly punished for it because you're not facing truly cracked players. You jiggle that against tens, you're not killing him because he's got off angle advantage. You're peeking into an off angle. You're just exposing yourself to risk. You, you got to use the clone. The clone would be so good there. You clone and then maybe even you flash because after they break the clone, they 180 and they insta flick back around. They flick into your flash. You know what I'm talking about. They, we could have gone off. Eru split. Model two. Okay. Ooh, baby. Sir, diamond two and we are what? Immortal three? Mid round, all of these must always be calmed. Strikes for any misses. Enemy location we see, enemy utility we see, our own abilities. When you're dead and team has two plus members alive, if they're not coordinated, then backseat them until they are coordinated. Holy fuck. No wonder it's been four months since you run a VOD. Huge was mad. Huge gave you some serious notes. You're on ideal stronger players, you're in your number face, yeah, yeah, post plan coordination. Honestly, I'm not gonna give you strikes for anything down there. Okay. Mm, pretty bad peak. That's another best tip though. Right, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna keep you. Go to Molly. Get to Molly. I have TP backside now. You wanna go? Touch. One up. Dead. Nice. One side. Dead. I'm holding CT. Uh, Stuff you can get out if you want to. All right, I think with it so far. Uh, comps could be better on these dudes, but you tried, and that's what I care about. So I'm not mad. What I am a little mad about is how we're playing this post plant right now. So th there's this very common play, high low, and I feel like you just go for it here. Uh, we got three dudes. Our raise is just covering jack shit. We have a fucking trip. I feel like we can convert this post plant uh, a bit more assiduously. If anything, I'm just worried like a fight you can get up here or over here is going to be tough for Cypher to join. And so I kind of want you to come over here against this wall and then like when the raise gets peaked if that happens you're sort of just immediately in that fight for free and if cypher gets peaked they'll have to be way out and you'll be able to fight them off cypher i don't think we can take first contact here cypher doesn't want to okay bet. They can off to... not bad you wanted to hold for cypher but he didn't want to get out really did you say that morning ct cypher you can reposition i'm holding for you yeah, cypher you can get out if you want to Cypher, you can get out if you want to is way different. First of all, get out. It doesn't <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> OK, he doesn't want to. I mean, I think default is totally fine for him if you're not giving him a new spot. Now, if you say Cypher, come high low with me backside is way different. Cypher doesn't want to. Okay. OK, and now you identify he doesn't want to. Perfect. Good. I'm with you so far. I have totally fuck with everything you've done. You recognize he doesn't want to move. Good. So now what do we do? We get close to this wall and we peek off his contact. And we play for race. And let's see what we do. They can also you, you do this and that's no good. You just gave a fight on an angle of, that we don't want to give. Let's just play for info. I'm baiting my noise. I'm baiting my position. CT1. KJ. KJ's out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you're in such a rush, dude. Fake teleport. What are you doing? Dead. I'm holding. I'm going wide for Sapphire. Dead. Nah, I don't. I don't. Think it. I, I think we convert this round more often if we don't give these uh these duels right okay. here. That Cypher is definitely not joining. You feel? I want to use this guy. Fake teleporter. Dead. There's something. Buddy, out just. Can we go for full shield if we can? Let's go mid to get out of the race. We have Sapphire P man. Just hold it. Alright, if you're starting Ghost, I don't think you should be with the team. Yeah, yeah. I transport, I transport. Like, the Ghost player generally likes to be in this position. 
Um, not necessarily B main, but alone. Because you want your uh, stronger out. guns. Like right here, just imagine Cypher gets one tapped. Totally reasonable. Can absolutely happen. And now uh, the enemy jet just dashes forward, takes his gun. And that's a bit annoying. It's not like you're losing the round. But it's 5v4 and their jet has a real gun now. Uh, it's way better if you're here and you get one tapped because it's a ghost. So just keep that in mind. On round two, if somebody has ghost, they should always be the one who doesn't have a buddy. This Cypher has a gun and he doesn't have a buddy, that's not good. Okay, wait, I'm taking bomb, let's go. I'm taking bomb, let's go. They know we're here, they know we're here. Yeah, they know we're B as well, though. Like, I might even ask I'm Cypher to trade. Or if he's gonna keep lurking. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll send TP side. Sorry, I'm making noise. Feel even if he is with the team? Well, I'd stop you right there, Risen. Because he shouldn't be. If he's playing Ghost on round two. Um, okay. So the, there's no need to, like, further discuss. Oh, shoddy, shoddy, shoddy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe elbow, maybe elbow. Yeah, people like playing That's TV clear. here. Maybe nice. elbow, we don't know. Elbow's clear. I, I'm landing for main, I'm landing for main. Dash, flash out of CT, I think. Or have I'm not sure. In elbow, in elbow now. Yeah, One side. main plant here. Dead. Yeah, heal again. Elbow, both, both, both. Last on CT, right side. Dead. Okay. So let's talk about this fight on the jet right here. So you have full 50 armor, okay? And you've got ultimate already up. So you should never, ever, ever, never, ever fight this jet. You know why? Because if any of your teammates fight her and die, free gun, and you've got 50 armor. Additionally, your teammates don't have ult. So any engagement they get with this jet, they get plus one orb. This jet gets plus one orb, and you get plus zero orb if you engage her. So there's only like downside for you fighting her here so i would hold tab because the moment she's stuck here we definitely kill her for free so i would try to find the best orb to find like are we close to raise ult sky ult you feel and we just hold the okay okay just, just, everybody else just, just shifts in uh, I this is eco round i think the high low is Bro, justifiable i share if we're bonus oh actually wait no, you are right yeah why aren't we buying good high chase yeah. okay yeah you you need to buy a vandal or a phantom here average or like a judge maybe we got alt the whole point of running a ghost on round two is that you'll pick up a teammate's gun if they die or in best case scenario your bonus round you get to buy up a rifle and play to win and if you notice the um current gun economy on our side it's really good it's really 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 good we have three bulldogs which is like insanely fabulous if you're really selfless, you could even consider giving the rifle to Sky and buying Shorty plus this Spectre and using your ult. Like if we're really, really, really cringe, but I'm down for you to keep the rifle. Uh, they don't have full heavy armor buy. This is such a rifle buy round. Like what was the point of our ghost round too? I'm just hoping I don't get damaged. Uh, screens. One off. Screens. The actual execution of the round is not that bad. I think ending up on lurk position here is it's pretty understandable um i probably would look like yeah it's not getting planted for heaven but you're too inactive like purely theoretically speaking the enemy team should not scale ramps alone against you here they shouldn't do that they should play together and in the event that they do that we're in a lot of trouble if we don't find a way to like press the issue uh, i like that we end up peaking main but the actual peak itself is it's not radiant quality I'll just say that it's not bad, but you can see, like, I'm sure you agree that this does not look like a perfect pre-aim and peak. And that leads to us having to adjust our mouse way more than we should. As you can see, adjust, 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 adjust. And now you even have to adjust again. And that's why we're not uh, killing this guy. So. Hey, walling, man. Get us up. Giant screen. Back TV. Okay, I fuck with this. So you're establishing mid presence. You're like playing LTL. Yeah, or you're gonna join the team. Maybe just LT, whatever. But you're breaking the wall. I don't think it's enough. If this was an ascendant Yoruvad, I'd say you're f***ing smurfing and you're on your way to immortal, which would make sense because you're playing like an immortal two, immortal three player. But you trying to hit radiant? I'm just visualizing the radiant Yoru mains that I know. I think they have bigger ego. I don't think they break wall and leave. I think they break wall and they they really, really, really try to find a kill in some capacity. You feel? Let's pull up an extra bot or something. Because I'm talking out of my ass right now and I would rather talk behind the 
defense of cold hard facts. Just... Sure, sure. It, it's not oh, mid, it. but okay, 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 okay. here we are solo lurk. Okay. And we're going to see the same thing. Because right now his team is calling B main. Look where we are. So this is the type of scenario where the way you've been playing in this VOD, you TP towards B main, you come out B main with your team. Look at this. Look here. Can you ult backside D right now? Look at him. Flash, I don't know. Here we go. Well, if you don't know. It's the same scenario, agreed? But now he does have TP. Agreed? I haven't seen what he's done yet. I'll pause. It's basically the same scenario, except this time he's got TP. And he's dead ass alone. Yeah, and here he goes. Spike down, mid. Oh, actually, I made a step. Wait, can you guys wait? Like, right, eco? Second. Yeah, sure, okay. fine. We'll buy solo lurk round. Oh, back. <laughs> so I didn't want to take the vax. You feel me? You feel me? Player? You feel me yet? Oh. We'll keep watching. Like. Okay, his team's about to leave him, I think. I you feel me? You on. feel me? Do you feel me? This is the most brain dead, at shit crazy thing you've ever seen, right? Like your current mind would never do this. You'd never justify this play, agreed? And I'm telling you, this is what you're missing. As an immortal player, you don't have this crazy f over you're but i mean just look at the fucking radiant i just banned in chat they're all egotistical pieces of shit and i need you to be egotistical but you don't have to be a piece of shit at the end of the day it's just numbers okay there's four of them here there's at most three defenders on a maybe four statistically speaking so you're not justified in saying i was worrying my team would die that's that's insecure behavior you got me so kill the f***er mid because you're probably going to be able to find a duel and you're better because you're a duelist man and duelist veins are better. That's like the mentality you need. And then, then you TP. Back TV. Like at the end of the day, I want you establishing this into your subconscious so that you can just focus on winning every single gunfight you get into. Two also cells in A. Oh, bet, 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 How relevant. How relevant. One screens. There exists no universe. You dry peeks there through the smoke, huh? Oh, well, yeah. Well, no. Go for B split. Go for you B are so different. You can go B man. Oh wait, maybe here. Oh, no. Yeah, nah, I knew it. Do you see how the way Eggster plays, he gets direct impact on the round? Now, whether or not it's like good is very easy to argue against Eggster's playstyle from an objective like five versus five coordinated standpoint. But from a solo queue standpoint, the amount of control he puts into his own hands is off the charts when he goes for this type of fight because you're almost guaranteed to find a fight you feel and as long as you're assiduous enough in this type of geometry you can usually find a duel not just a fight okay you got to be careful because finding a fight where you can get traded is not very good like if we were calling extras vod he managed to get over here and get the ramps guy to peek him which is lit because that's a duel. And if you can find these like duels, then you're not going to have to be over here and spawn watching your teammates find the duels first. Okay, this was almost bad. I want you to see your peak again. Notice this guy does not get properly cleared at all when you're scaling up ramps. I think we need to do that. Same, same problem. Here you get lucky timing. But you're, you're practically already exposed to this threat that the jet's on. And like your crosshair is so far off. That, that, that's what happened. Let's pull back up the Eggster VOD because I'm really being a, a piece of shit about how tight I want these peaks to be. Let's give Eggster a few rounds to warm up too. Two, two, two screen, two screen. Okay, I paused. Notice I'm being just as strict as I was with you. When I pause, he's dead on. Okay. Oh. Off angle. Oh, Notice I don't care about his piece when he doesn't have his gun out. The moment his gun is out, we'll be getting strict. 
right on again. Oh, and this is perfect, actually. This is just like when you died at Killjoy. Do we think Exter is going to yap out his team? So you can see, this delta is what I'm looking for. When an enemy shows up on your screen, the delta, like the gap, Exter has easier shots to hit consistently. You see how he immediately changes his settings and shit? You know why? Because he shouldn't be dying to this guy. That guy sucks. All right, let's go. Let's go. Flashing. Okay, okay. A bit too fast to peek this rafters. Right. I think you need to get more comfortable Lushing. off this pick. And Holding for a potential trade. It's not that uncommon for dudes to um, play two on B site and a very common thing to do to win a fight. Like, let's say they know you're here now. OK, and they're somewhere on site. Like, let's say they maybe rafters, maybe site. It doesn't really matter. Put yourself in their shoes right now. OK, you're somewhere in this box and Yovu just killed your killjoy. It's not just that they're staring slab is that they're going to get off angle because if they're just staring that we can deal with that. They're in an on angle. Like if they're over here, if they're over here, we're probably fine to peek them because our crosshair delta to them will be reasonable and so I fuck with it but if they're out here if they're out here then I don't fuck with it at all because they have a big advantage and they will be holding us so you gotta be careful I wouldn't be surprised to see somebody jump spot this corner in this spot if they were you uh, but definitely not swing out not yet these guys are not ready uh, I think crosshair should snap right here you crouch and you stay in your little off angle and you wait for these guys to scale out a bit, and then you, you continue um, taking the enemy team to town. You see how you would just die to off angle? I'm sure you see it. Oh, omen, sleep, omen, omen, flash off my contact, okay? Flash off my contact, bro. Yes. Don't go, heaven. Left side, left side, stuck. Hmm. You, don't, you don't kill the guy? I guess omen flash, your teammates kill him, fight elbow. Hmm. You're, you're losing this. Like, if I'm just looking at this duel, if we run this duel back 100 times against a Radiant, this 50-50 right here is not 50-50. I think if coming out a bit too wide, I think we should be using Shorty and probably guess this wall jump out, maybe. Yeah, no, I agree. I think this Astro just dies to your teammates. I fuck with it. So uh, I fuck with that guy Flowers just getting killed for free. I like coming over Elbow. I don't like the way you fight this Killjoy. I think you die to this Killjoy like this more often than not. Especially because, like, we also have that Cabbage coming. We could let it nice, Catch your side, catch your side. Oh, okay, side, so close, side. so close to me fucking with it. But look, look, look. So let's think about it for a sec. The play is going to become obvious to you. Can they push you from behind right now? You just switch to shorty and you just hold elbow uh, because they're, they're terrified of you. These dudes cannot stand out in the open here and hold main while they know your elbow will not happen. So you, yeah, you just be patient. You just wait. You can't really peek. They could have off angle by shorty better there because they might peek you. We're just holding a flash them. There's no time. So I has foot. The problem is Killjoy could be right here swinging right now. Now the shorty pull out is quick enough easily. It's not a problem, especially because we're going to walk towards this wall. Um, Pulling out flash. You're just going to get killed. It is. You don't have time. I'm down to even keep the phantom house if we're not comfortable with the shorty. I think the shorty is a bit better, but phantom is not really going to be a problem. The, the problem is we're peeking for sure. And we're, we're spraying all of our ammo. Oh, it's so close to good. It's so close. We can see our deltas and notice they're really trying to isolate you. And they succeeded. They succeeded. Okay, so you get lucky you get one because your delta is really bad here and you're peeking too. Like again, this is like your third unjustified kill this game. It, it won't happen in Radiant. You just will die. Almost see back TV, back TV, back TV. Get off. No, we actually. Okay, good, good, good. You deserve to lose a round. Good, good. It should be 8 2. Okay, he gets one. Yeah, we sort of saw this pattern. Two screen, two screen. Oh, wow, he's already out, bro. And he gets punished for it. He thinks the screen player died. Two, two screen, two screen. And so now he's got this line. That, that's actually crazy. There's another screen player doesn't realize. Yeah, okay, example. Can you drop smokes? Fuck with that. 
Oh, bet, 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 Kills this guy, and immediately his instinct is to unswing the arena it's a little bit because he, he knows he just made like contact. His team is going to flood out. It's like just the better habit. And after you do this, you're totally free to switch into peeking them. But you want this like initial reaction before your brain has time to actually make a decision to always be like this. Next night, next night. And then once you like think about it, you're free to you're free to fight. Under uh, CT also, also gone. Oh fuck, we don't have bomb. Yeah, I think it was fight CT there, even though it's not good. Okay. So right here, you crouch sprite, and you don't have the luxury to do that. Let's pretend the timer is uh, not about to hit zero anyways. Because none of this matters. If you crouch spray, you get traded. You're you're too committed to the fight. After you kill this killjoy, you need to immediately be like turning 90 degrees and strafing one of these two directions to dodge their incoming bullet, which will be there. You feel? And yeah, now you just have to like push the bomb, kill all of them. And you do it, you do it. So you do flick and you move. It's just this crouch gets you're dead. Because you do the rest right. You flick and you move. Here you get punished for it. You see how um you crouch spray this fight? And now the enemy Astro has time to kill you. It's the same problem. Now nah, she also misses. Like we're playing in lower MMR. Like we're not in radiant MMR yet. But it's adding up. Uh I want to fix these bad habits before we get punished for them because it'll take forever to fix them slowly as like we get closer to radiant and we learn how fast they people actually are. This guy should one tap us. Uh, that jet peeking raptor should have been faster. Should have one tapped us. Smoke said this time. RTP, I turn around. They smoked ACG. Yep, I'm down. I'm getting onto side. I'm down. They could pick those ramps. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we have Cypher in this spot. I'm down to come out of smoke, but I think flowers might be more attractive right now. Uh, they don't have any util that can easily clear flowers right they they have the gecko flash but that's baby shit. and the thing that's appealing to me right now pun intended about flowers is that we can take a similar line to cypher so if cypher ends up fighting them here as they're coming out specifically on this side notice it's very trivial for flowers to join that fight and it's not trivial trivial at all for an a site player to enter that engagement you'd have to come way over here and now you don't have any close cover if they're scaling fast while flowers gives you that cover i like flowers here a lot more because cypher's playing rafters and because the enemy team is uh already got a dude position on this ramp side they're already leaning more like mid ish and this flowers angle is dangerous dude it is dangerous if um if they end up all coming ramps with like some mid pressure and they do this if you are flowers and they come out if they burn that gecko flash anywhere that's not for sight which is highly likely in this scenario because they need to take heaven, you will get like three. So I, I think flowers here. Uh, it's kind of subjective. I can absolutely see some players going sight. I think sight would be better if you had a flash up because there's a lot of ways you can play around the flash zones from sight. Flowers here is calling me. I'm getting onto sight. They could pick those ramps. Okay. Flash rate race. Smoke's faded. Oh my. Yeah, and you, you see, you come out open because it, it feels natural. Um, Because sight is too passive with the Cypher Rafters. And so exactly what I said you'd have to do, you come out here and you don't have close cover. Maybe maybe you end up just going flowers. I'm in free. Because it, it just feels right. Ah, you know. Oh, I need to heal. Do you have heal? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, so try to always expose what you're trying to peek. Uh, it's fine if you peek too far. You'll be able to tighten it up later because I think you're trying to peek here tight and you end up accidentally like doing that, which is going to, you know, it's going to show your shoulder. You can get really tight. It's really hard. It'll come with time, but you never want to miss. So don't allow yourself to miss the peek. Go deeper 
and that's fine. If you really, really, really want to peek it tight, keep in mind you're not allowed to miss it. You'd open your map and you'd ping it. You feel? I have Wu-Ting? Nah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have a Wu-Ting. I think it's way, way, way overhyped. Is it better? Yeah. I can peek this tightly on a Dell membrane keyboard. No problem. It's not hecking keyboard gap. Oh, yeah. Eh. Off. Okay, relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what? Dude, what's the rush? So, we're slowed? Our Cypher is like 1 HP anyways, which I'd realize when I pull out this clone. So, f*** that guy. It, it, it's 4v2 even if he dies. Okay. I see Omen there. I'm just worried. If you're in their shoes and you're over here, I think it's so likely you'd try to spam screens. Like, just praying to get a kill because you're you're losing the round. I won't lie. I did not expect the guy here, but you, you have Cypher ult coming up anyways, you know? This is a good spot. M4. Yeah, I like that. You know you have to get at least two. Mm. Okay, I wouldn't jump up. If you just have to kill one, jumping up can be really good because uh, the angle's super unexpected. And if you think you'll have time to kill one in TP, then I f*** with this. But I think it's too disrespectful here to say, yeah, I got time to kill one in TP. You shouldn't have time to do that if these guys play the round even like half decently because they should double swing your ass. <laughs> okay, like you see the problem, right? Like, I can't believe the jet solo peeks you. There's no trade. But then you even insta peeked because you felt pressured to peek because you thought the trade was coming. You're not even wrong. And then you get this ugly peek. You, you kill her. You should never have time to get your ult off either. Like, in immortal players. Yeah, you thought your teammate would live longer. Okay. You need to be like one step up. Okay, let me. So the deeper you are along this line, the harder it is for them to spam you because they essentially have this like ray of spam. And the more of this box their bullet has to cut through, the less damage it will do. And so the more close to parallel to the box their bullets are, the less damage they're going to end up doing. So these bullets that come like straight through it will do the most damage to you. Um, This corner, they're going to ping it. They're spamming. There's a few corners they'll ping. They'll also ping close. You don't want to play close because that's also terrible. So being, you want to have this line for their walkout. That's really good, this line here. But when you watch pro players play this line, it probably looks a bit tighter than this. It probably looks more like the corner is like here, extended over. And that's because they've taken like two steps forward and they're actually playing like here. And this is where you want to be um, because now you're dodging like all of the spams that get pinged. So if they ping this corner and they spam it, they're missing. They ping this corner, they spam it, they're missing. And you still have this line, which is very important. This line is super good. It's off angle. They just stop. They don't have the man. Did you just make noise? I still think it's fine, to be clear, because... I shit you not, nobody plays up here. This angle is really good. Nobody plays up here. So even if you made noise, it's probably fine. <laughs> nobody plays up here. Like, this is such yes. a free kill if they come B main. Ah, oh, it sucks. Drop, 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 drop. Fake Ooh, okay. I think I would have taken the TP. The reason is we don't know about any late B main threat. So it's kind of hard for us to do what you're doing right here. It feels uncomfortable. And if you TP, you just tell Omen to like fight and die. <laughs> and even though your TP like makes noise and shit, their their brains are gonna register this area as clear. They're gonna lazy swing you, thinking you fake the TP anyways. <gasps> I'm ulting, I'm ulting. Wait for my ulti. Wait for my info. There's one here on ping. Dink, dink. I'm going. Okay. I think I want under. Oh, you did it again. You did it again. Oh, you see it. You see it. I don't have to tell you, right? Like, you're just going too fast, buddy. You've got two guys coming up behind them, Heaven. It's a free round. Yep.
ox free kill. You do need your TP though, so I think you have to send your second TP if you're gonna stay up here. Two B man, three. Oh, why are we fake TPing? Because I like the. Is it because you missed or something? I like sending the TP out and getting quiet again. Because you're playing in this tight corner, you're gonna get cleared. I had to fake them out. This guy's shit, by the way. I can't believe she didn't clear first. Yeah, the thing is, even if you're like faking over here, somebody back here can hold that for their sage while they clear you close. The geometry just doesn't work in your favor. If um, if the corner you were tucked in was over here, like pretend this is a wall and you're tucked here, now your play makes a lot of sense. Okay, Just remember this pattern because this will happen all the time. There'll be map changes. Hell, on Lotus now, now this type of configuration exists. When the line that they have to cross immediately exposes two threats now faking one of them is really strong because they're going to look out on that side the geometry here doesn't work in your favor because they can actually just clear both sides one at a time so it doesn't matter they'd have to be goofy as hell not to clear this and just to rush to clear that so lotus here's an example where that is true they come through this is all over the place how there's one here um there's one here so anytime it's like you can draw a line, notice there's not one here. You can't really do it because of this offset. There is one here now as well. So whenever these corners are at the same depth coming through, that, that's when the sound fake works out. I meant stuff spawn. Take a flush. Bro, flowers is so free. I'm surprised it's the okay. first time you're playing flowers. Sage slope. Run heaven. Two heaven. Two heaven. Two heaven. Three heaven. Fake teleport. <laughs> I told you. Like, dude, this shit is like so good. I'm mad that this is the first time we play flowers. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? What do you mean peak? You got Cypher on site? You've got clone? You've got flash? No! Nah, I stay in flowers a bit longer. I'm dashing. All right, I'm not mad. You're better. I'm not mad. Nice. The only thing I don't like is the reswing after you kill the first guy flowers. You're disrespecting. This is so hard to teach because you just have to get higher MMR and realize it. You just don't know what it's like to play against players who are actually cracked. You can't jiggle there. The problem is you've jiggled there the past thousand hours you've played and never been truly punished for it because you're not facing truly cracked players. You jiggle that against tens. He's, you're not killing him because he's got off angle advantage. You're peeking into an off angle. You're just exposing yourself to risk. You, you gotta use the clone. The clone would be so good there. You clone and then maybe even you flash because after they break the clone, they 180 and they insta flick back around. They flick into your flash. You know what I'm talking about. They, we could have gone off. Yeah, I hate this. I hate this for like us. Like, I don't think there's much you could have done. This round is just unforged. This is a strike, by the way. I'm ulting, I'm ulting. I, think <laughs> I caught you. <laughs> you see it? You can't deny this one. Your teammates do not objectively know that they're stuck default right now. They also don't know it's Killjoy. And you just pinged it. That is not acceptable. I'm ulting, I'm ulting. I think one mid. Under spear. Backside, backside. Flashing backside. Mm. Yeah, again, if you think your teammates are still alive, peeking like this is fine. But are you happy accepting that you thought such a stupid thing when you could have easily checked? I wouldn't be satisfied if I was you. I'd be like, well, fuck, I should have realized. Because if you don't swing so wide, you can almost certainly fight the Sage first. And then that guy has no exit, so you're going to be able to get a duel. Now, I'm not saying it's like you're around. It's not. It's their round. But it's winnable. Saver died just a moment ago. Yeah, but you're not ready to fire your gun yet. All I'm saying is Exter would notice. Okay? If you're satisfied being the type of player who doesn't notice that, be my guest. Okay? And tell me I didn't notice huge and you can't expect me to notice. I'll, I'll shut up. I'm pretty sure you're capable of noticing this. Bro. <laughs> I don't say it much, but this game is team gap, Slab. Like, I'll cope for you. Your teammates are 
Fucking worthless, man. <laughs> left side, left side, left side. Pill up, pill up. Okay. Back. We lose. Keep that on the notes. This is fine. Let me make it very clear. Da -da -da. Drop the mid round macro. It's excessive. Just calm the listed things below. Keep pre round macro. Please, smiley face. Da -da -da. The challenge. Da -da. You have two glaring issues that both need to be fixed for you to consistently hang with big boys. Da, 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 da. You overheat the swing when there is frequently obviously better play. Da, 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 da. Your peaks are not radio level. Only some of them are, and it's about consistency at this point. It's very straightforward notes, Sleb. You have to keep this. Stop mid-round macroing so much. It's fine. Keep calling this, and when you're dead, keep coordinating the team. But you need to you need to stop dying for free. You gotta you have to like take your conversion rate. Let's say that game, it was 70%, because you were fighting and winning most of the time. Then hypothetically a radiant player would have a 75% conversion. Okay. So don't go, oh, I won 80% of my fights. I'm the fucking goat. I did it. Actually, like, evaluate your fights on their merits. Because there were a lot of fights you didn't deserve to win. Like, you came out of ult looking at Killjoy and she's looking at you on elbow. You feel like we don't deserve to win that fight. Um, we crowd spray. The jet doesn't trade us. We don't deserve to be alive at that point. So there were a lot of unjustified moments. And I think we can clean it up. Hey, Woohoo Jin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.